Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can recover some detail in Sky that might be a little bit light, either because that was the kind of situations that you were caught in, or maybe you've had to do some editing to uh, your photo, um, which means that you've kind of had to brighten up an area, which meant that the sky's got a little bit too light. So for example, in this photo here, um, in Picasso, um, these guys look a little bit dark. Now I'm going to be showing you it in Picasso and in Lightroom. Uh, Picasso, obviously, the free software from Google, and Picasso, the not the uh, and Lightroom, the not so free software from uh, Adobe. But let's just, you know, for argument's sake, say we had to increase the um, the fill light in this particular photo just to to brighten up these fellas in the uh, foreground a little bit. Then to darken the sky, what we could do is we could just hit on the um, third tab from the left and what you want is the graduated filter and just click on that and the way it works is if I just move this cross up a little bit here you'll be able to kind of see and um, if I dark, uh, you control it with you can pick a color so you can um, change the uh, tint of the filter you're going to apply and basically what we're doing is we're just going to apply a variable darkness to the top of the uh, the, the photo but what I'll do if I just darken the shade an awful lot See how dark that photo is going? And I get rid of the feather. So there's no... Basically, we're adding this to the photo. And the feather changes the softness of the transition. And it kind of spreads it around. And the shade tells us how dark it would go. And then the cross puts us where we're going to apply it to. Now, this is a great example of where you have to be careful with this sort of um, graduated neutral density effect because we've got this pole here, which is suddenly getting very, very dark at the top and light at the bottom, which can be very distracting. But what if we lighten off the shade a little bit, like so, make the feather really powerful, all of a sudden we've got nice, a fair bit of details returned to the sky, makes the photo look uh, definitely a lot more colourful and not as boring. Now let's skip across the Lightroom where we've got the same photo. Again, you know, let's say we have the same thing. Say we wanted to bump up the exposure a little bit so we can see these fellas a little bit better. What we could do in Lightroom is actually we could have a go at recovering the highlights as well. Over in the sort of basic panel over here, we could slide the highlights recovery over to the left, see what happened. We could even back off the whites a little bit so they weren't quite as bright. But it's again, it's not really doing anything. So what we want to do is apply a graduated filter to the sky to darken it down a bit. Again, it's dead easy. Just click on the graduated filter near the top of the screen here. And what we do in um, Lightroom is kind of have this cross and you just click and you drag it down. And again, what I'll do to kind of show you what goes on, I'll just do it for the top bit of the sky. And um, basically what you can then do is you can, of the filter... Um, with a dark bit at the top and then fading to nothing down below you can then change the exposure the contrast etc so if we knock down the exposure in the sky see how it's getting darker at the top now see how it kind of fades through so if i kind of stretch this the transition kind of comes through and we have a lot more control in lightroom so not only we can we control the exposure we could increase the contrast in that particular area we could recover the details in the shadows we'd inc increase the clarity so that we could see more details in any clouds that are there. Again, we can change the sharpness and the noise and control all those things um, independently. So let's just drag this down a little bit, probably to something like that. So maybe a little bit further. And let's just back off the highlights. And again, we've just kind of darkened the, the top of the sky and um, if we compare the two images, that was Picasso, probably a little bit too blue, Lightroom, a little bit more natural. Um, and again, as you can see, we recover some detail in the sky, it makes the photo look a bit less, little bit more interesting. But again, watch out for things like poles, because they're going to darken too. And obviously the answer to that would be, say, in Photoshop or in Lightroom, would be to then apply a mask to that to take the effect off that. But that will be in a different video, because this was just a short one to show you how you could recover detail in Blown Out Skies, in Picasso and Lightroom. My name is Rob from RobNotPhoto.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.